Well, hello, welcome back to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. I am your senior host and coach, LaKeisha McKnight. Hey, thank you so much for listening in. Uh, this is the media outlet for the nonprofit based in Chesapeake, Virginia, that's entitled Women of Elevation Career Services International. Uh, feel free, of course, to visit the website to learn more about uh, the podcast and the nonprofit at womenofelevation.com. Uh, but one thing I can tell you is that our mission is to empower women like yourself with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate. Now, I know you may be saying, well, can you give me specifics about, you know, the type of women that we do help? Well, just to give you a little more detail, these are the women that we help are are women who are single with children. They may be women who have been battered or abused as it pertains to relationships. And then also women who have unfulfilled career goals. That means you're just not satisfied with where you are with, with regards to your career and you want more. We're serving women who want more, right? Not necessarily in a greedy way, but those women who you just feel like you haven't reached your destination yet uh, and you really haven't gotten on that path where you're just saying, well, I absolutely enjoy what I do in a career. And so that's that, that's what we're helping. So if you're if you if you fit those categories there, you're in the right place at the right time. And so thank you so much for connecting. All right. So, of course, as I've been sharing, even if you're new here, just note as in the, the mission statement, we help women create, relate, and elevate. So during the first four months of the year, we help women create. And so we're still working on that throughout the rest of the month of April. Okay. And so this week we have a new series on, on really helping you to create wonderful things that's going to help you to elevate with regards to your career and your lifestyle. And so today I'm going to start a new series. And the new series is entitled Create your desired income. Create your desired income. I know you may be saying, well, Lakeisha, how can I create my desired income? How is that possible Uh, when, you know, if I work on a job, they're going to give me a specific amount? Well, here's what I would love to say, just to get things going and just to lay the foundation for this first uh, episode is this. You have the ability to choose whether you're going to accept an offer that someone gives you or whether you're going to decline an offer that's given unto you. So again, you have the ability to accept and the ability to decline. So if, if there's an amount that an organization gives to you as far as a salary, and you feel like that undermines the value or the, how should I say it? The, the value, there's no other way to put it. If it underestimates the value that you can bring to an organization, then by all means, by all means, let them know that 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 just won't work. It's not going to cut it. It doesn't doesn't quite fit the bill for you. You know, just let them know that. But, you know, and, and of course you want to say it in a respectful way. Say it in a respectful way. And, you know, if they're able or willing to negotiate, then let the negotiations begin. Let the negotiations begin. Uh, but if they're not willing to negotiate and you just can't accept a certain amount lower than what you intentionally wanted and you have the ability to walk away, by all means do so, right? I don't want you to walk away if you definitely need a job or you need income and you have nothing go- coming in. You need something coming in to live. So I'm not saying that at all. Uh, but of course, there is another way besides trying to negotiate with other organizations. Um, there is the entrepreneurial way where you can actually set and create your desired income. And you can do that. Now, of course, it takes time to build. Let me just say it that way. It takes time to build, but it is indeed possible. Okay, you really have, there's some things, of course, that you want to make sure you have in place that's going to enable you uh, to create that desired income that you want. You have to be strategic in your approach. A lot of times we say we want a certain amount of money, but we don't plan for, for it. We, we, we have this idea in our minds, but that's all it remains is an idea. We don't execute we don't have a plan. We don't execute on those plans. And then some of us are just not consistent. We easily get distracted. Uh, and so we don't remain consistent. 
And so this is important. I'm going to tell you something that's really important. That even with your desired income, you really need a plan whereby you're going to be engaging in results-driven activities. These are activities that are going to give get you the results that you want. Okay? And so that's where we're going to really wrap it up and conclude today. You have the ability to create an income the entrepreneurial way. You have to have a plan and you have to do, create a plan that's feasible and that you can be consistent with because everybody's plan may not suit you. So you can't take someone else's plan and then call it your own. You have to work with someone that will be able to see what plan is feasible for you. And I say work with someone, I'm talking about a coach, someone who can sit down with you and plan or perhaps a consultant. Okay, so I just want you to think about that for yourself as you're moving forward, as you're thinking about creating that desired income. Maybe the income you want to make is 70,000 or or 100,000 or perhaps even 500,000. Maybe you want to be a millionaire. Of course, we know that there's gradual work with that. But one of the things that I tell people is you definitely want to you definitely want to be a business owner. It will get you there faster. And you want to see in what way can you allow money to work for you. A lot of times you're working for money. You've been trained to work for money. But how about allowing money to work for you? And there are ways, again, to do that, to help to allow money to work for you. And I may share tomorrow during the next episode, I may share how you can have money working for you. I'm going to give you an opportunity to learn about investing. And with investing, that helps you to have money work for you. So definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. I have some more information to share with you about business ideas that can create a definitely a great amount of money for you as a business owner, but then also share with you a business or I should say an investing strategy that would allow you to invest using your phone. And of course, you can have other people doing the investing for you. So I'm going to share with you a little bit of information about that on tomorrow. But I want to say thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, Be sure to visit the website www.womenofelevation.com to learn more about what it is that we do and share this podcast with those that you know, other friends, other family members, business colleagues, you know, share it so that they can be empowered and encouraged as well. So again, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, we, Women of Elevation, the Revitalized, the Total Woman Podcast, we empower women with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate.